what has been your experience with being like just say Tongan um, and with art and like blowing up those spaces that are typically white? So monumental working title for Brian and I was, you know, one was one of the first things that we curated. You know, there's, and I don't know anything about curation. I mean, I make work, but I was like, okay, uh, we need to apply ourselves to this, to something because people do this for real jobs, you know, and I'm not one of those people. Um, so we really wanted to create the rigour um, around um, curating an exhibition of performance at the Art Gallery of New South Wales. And so we wanted to, um, yeah, we, we wanted to explore the concept of va. So va in um, some Polynesian languages means space and it's inseparable from time. And so it's relational. So our relationship to space is about other things in that space, that space itself. And so this was the premise of monumental working title. And so the thing about the gallery is that they they're so they're super serious and they um, they have these incredible collections of objects and beautiful artwork but there's no real space for the people who make those the, the people who make those works it's a little bit like a museum it's the, that old culture of anthropology and museums and collecting things so we just wanted to kind of dissolve that a little bit collapse that a little bit on itself and that's why we did monumental working title and um, it was really wonderful actually to be able to to create um, an exhibition that is based on a, a concept from our region, so just the very idea of looking at relational space, um, but it also just being, you know, a whole bunch of beautiful fam that we really wanted to bring into into the gallery inside that context. So it, it, it felt like a big reunion and it kind of, you know what I love the most? It kind of felt a little bit like a food court, you know? Yes. <laughs> it, it, it did. Um, and it was like, yes. I love that kind of collapsing of like this like hyper, like, high art gallery space, but it just feeling like we're all hanging around at Westfield or something. <laughs> the sort of traditional way of learning, like, of learning acting, it never kind of really sat with me. And so my education really started to be formed um, when, uh, through queer spaces and learning from queer performers. And then, um, and then people who, recognize that one one person in <coughs> particular Emale Ungavule who's a Tokalawan um Itoke Fijian woman um who was directing the Molemao at Belva which is the first uh Pacifica play that had, I think ever been programmed in a main stage theater company which is wow that was 2019 which is as in one that was was uh wasn't touring from somewhere else oh, wow. um and so for me, like my, my education and my guidance through performance and particularly acting has been from, uh, from, from Emile and like Angela Thea Thea and Winnie Dunn, like pulling me into these projects that I wasn't, <clears throat> didn't perhaps have, you know, like the experience for. Um, <clears throat> and so, yeah, I guess like the, the, for me navigating like the acting world has been thanks to people giving me opportunities and and as I sort of like progress and 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 move along through it I I guess like it I those are the people that brought me on board um and that sort of really continues so uh yeah and also like the safest I ever feel is when I'm working with other Pacifica yeah. people um because there doesn't seem to be a hierarchy. Mm. <clears throat> and you have people who are like, shout out to Gabriel Satiu over there in the corner who we've worked together before. Like, you know, there's people who, whenever we work together, it just really feels like no one's at the top. Mm. But you have people that are leading each other with such care. And I think that sort of comes from when you're in those spaces using Dalanoa as a way to, you know, set up the language around how we're creating work and what you were saying about um, about like Levar, like we have the frameworks, 
that have existed for so long to create story because it's so much part of our culture and so learning from other people and how to sort of transfer them into main main theatre and acting worlds is, or has been really helpful and is a constant learning thing for me mm -hmm. too. Like I don't feel like I'm a pro in it but just always learning and getting little bits from different artists and elders, yeah. One of my most important works that I've ever done was like my first ever performance piece called Sayan Ramainam Ramalelai, which in Fijian means like the little lady has woken up. And that performance piece was kind of very inspired by, um, I guess like, I don't know, I like Tommy also like, don't really have um, a professional, uh, like, yeah, like a professional background in performance art, but I've always felt like I've had this type of intuition that can't be taught and the way that I demand space and, and like, yeah, like I've just really trusted my mana in terms of like making this first ever work that I did. And it caused like an absolute uproar within the Fijian community um, and, I had a little stop, revive, survive. But now looking back at it, it's like now looking back at it, like I think it's the most important work I've ever created because it really brought so many young Fijians like, yeah, like it was that type of vis visibility that made them remember like who we were pre-colonisation. And that's just the kind of work that I always continually like want to do. And if I'm always going to be like a shit kicker and a shit story, in my Fijian community, like, I don't mind because, like, if that's what decolonization looks like for me and in my practice, like, then, yeah, I will continue to do the doing things. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to add to that what it means to be, you know, a queer person working with their body from our, from our communities. Mm. It's a really the, – the level – the colonial project – in our island nations is really full on. And yeah. so the, the material of the body and yes. working within that, it just makes me so emotional thinking about it because it's, it's really difficult to, to assert yourself within our cultural spaces that way. And so I think queering our own communities is so, um, it's, it's work, it's, and, you know, this is this is the the, the refuge of, of queer community and queer space. Actually, is is what enables us to just keep doing that work, really.